beds, I thought it would be a lot of fun to compare a $5 and a $10 box bag that I have. This is the Walmart box and they just ship it to you. You sign up, it comes in the mail. You don't have to sit there and try to guess when it's coming up with the Target one and you know worry about getting it. You sign up, you get it. And um, look at this one. The other thing, um, and the one that I'm a little bit more excited about, is the uh, Serendipity bag. And this is new. They've only had it for, this is their third month. The first two months they did it for free for the current subscribers who get the little lace box that comes every other month. That's a bigger lifestyle subscription box and uh, they decided they find a lot of things along the way that don't work with those very theme oriented curated boxes that they do every other month but they thought for you know ten dollars a month they would throw these other cool things that they find into a bag that comes out on the other months the first month that I got it came in one of those ipsy style little padded you know kind of smaller bags and then the last one they had shipping issues and they just shoved it into our little lace box that we got so this month is the first month that I actually had to pay ten dollars for this so this month it came in a shipping mailer like this you know just a white you know padded one with this big red you know kind of thinner bag inside of it with their little their little logo so I'll show you what's inside uh, they always have a very comprehensive flyer that will list the different items and uh, talk about what they are and why they're great or why they chose them which is very handy I think and gives you the values so the first item these are by Beekman they are honeyed grapefruit facial cleansing wipes and there are 30 wipes in here they retail for seven dollars I used them last night to take off my makeup well I use them after I wash my face really well I'll usually take a wipe to get the remnants of eye makeup and anything you know else that might be left my face and um, they smell you know kind of like the grapefruit but it almost has like a little back hint of black licorice to it so if you don't like that smell um, you probably won't like these but um, you know they worked nicely and they do have that texture to them if you can see that there so they you know are supposed to help kind of exfoliate your skin um, so these are nice to have I always like trying out new uh, cleansing wipes this has a value of $4.99 and this is by mindful minerals and we got a little bar of face soap from them in our last little lace box serendipity bag that I thought worked very well and uh, this is 100% natural has nothing bad it's a dead sea scrub with willow bark lactic acid sugarcane and bamboo and um, you know I used this actually last night because this little bag just came yesterday oh and they do the coolest thing they do this for the little lace boxes but they also do it for the bag they tell you when it's shipped of course but then they actually will send you an email or text or however you send up for it and they told me it was out for delivery so I knew that it was coming yesterday because they sent me you know probably a couple hours before it came in my mail that I was going to get it so that was really nice so this is kind of a um, let me see if I can squeeze some of this out without exploding it all over there you go this is kind of just a very natural kind of a scrub you know kind of reminiscent of the glam glow types of scrubs that worked nicely I feel like my skin was nicely exfoliated I didn't notice anything hugely different today though it didn't seem to last super long but this was good to have. We also got a hair conditioner from the same brand, Mindful Minerals. It's called Mind Your Hair. I have not had a chance to use this yet because it just came yesterday. And the conditioner is worth $2.49. We also got another thing from Beekman, and I like the presentation of this. This is a lip balm, and it comes in this little case. Isn't that cute? It makes it seem so special. And it's a really nice lip balm. I love lip balms. I can't go to sleep at night without lip balm on. <laughs> I don't know. My lips just feel too dry and you know it's just standard but I have to say it really feels good quality it really goes on super duper smoothly and it's super minty it's extremely minty I mean seriously if you got bad breath this will probably help cover some of it up it's that minty but not obnoxious it's it's a pleasant mint and the story on this is that Brett Ridge of Beacon Farms could never find a lip balm that he felt was exactly to his liking oh and it's not waxy at all it's really it almost feels like you're putting lipstick on but thinner I don't know if that makes sense um, so he was looking for something that was natural, that would soothe, moisturize, hydrate, and protect like no other. And um, they have mint oil in it, which invigorates and energizes. And it has real goat milk in it for extra moisturizing, as well as vitamin E, organic beeswax, and other natural essential ingredients. And the lip balm has an $8 value. The last item is an Ofra brown eyeliner. And their first little serendipity bag I think had a bunch of Ofra stuff in it and I think I actually have one of these from another beauty bag so I'm not going to swatch it but they're nice they're smooth 
they're well pigmented so this is nice to have it's a $13 value I'll probably give this to somebody because how many eyeliners can I actually really wear right so this whole serendipity bag had a $35 value I think it's a nice little range of items um, brands that other than Oprah I really have never heard of except for the mindful minerals because I had the bar of soap in the last serendipity bag uh, but again it's kind of not so mainstream so it's kind of fun to try something new okay so let's open the $5 Walmart box first thing is an Aussie Mega hairspray and this is one and a half ounces. Also a mini Dove deodorant. I just use their standard powder fresh one and I use that every day and I've never found anything I like as much. So it'll be nice to try another one. A Chic Hydro Disposable Razor. Hey, you can never have too many razors. And this has the five curve sensing blades. Let me see what this looks like. I don't think I have, nope, I've never tried this particular razor. So that's nice. I've got the Caress Adore Forever Long Lasting Irresistible Fragrance Released on Touch. Uh, what is this? Is this just, oh, a body wash with fragrance release pearls. Okay, cause I was like, wait, what is it? Is it shampoo? Is it body wash? Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells nice. It smells, um, it smells a little bit perfumey, but like with a hint of almost a kind of a coconut or something. I do like this. Boy, that'd be nice if it actually lasts that long. And this is 1.8 ounces. A little Act Advanced Care mouthwash that is a uh, plaque guard. So it's an anti-gingivitis, anti-plaque mouthwash and clean mint. So this is great for travel. And this is one ounce. This is a Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara. I'm pretty darn sure, you know what, I'm not gonna open this. Um, I'm pretty darn sure I got this in was it the Target box that came last or something else. I just recently did receive this and I think it's fine. It didn't really bump my lashes up to where I like them to go because I like the super duper giant, you know, like the Lights Camera Lashes or Better Than Sex Mascara kind of oomph. Um, but I mean, it went on nicely and if you have nice big fat lashes, you don't need to add as much as I do. It's, it's a nice mascara. There's also an Aveeno Positively Radiant daily moisturizer and I like Aveeno products so I'll be happy to try that. And then we got a bunch of little samples. Jurgen's Wet Skin Moisturizer with a dollar off coupon. Uh, Biore Self Heating One Minute Mask. Oh nice. Okay. I've never tried that. I love masks so that'll be fun to try. Oh and then this. Okay. I got this in something else recently. Oh my god. I cannot believe what a difference. I use this you little foil packs, you basically brush with one and then you can spit, but don't rinse. And then you use the number two and you brush for one more minute. So one minute with this one spit, one minute with this one. I noticed a huge difference after one time and I did it three times. I was like, I gotta go buy this. And I went to Target and they were out. So I am planning to purchase this. This stuff rocks. Then a Nivea Essential Moisture um, little packet here, but oh wait, you know what? That's actually stuck to a coupon I've got. So there's that. And this is a coupon. Is it a coupon? It's just a little ad for the razor. And here's a little coupon for if I want to buy more Dev deodorant. So not bad for a $5 box there, is it? So I just wanted to show you a couple of the lower priced, you know, bags, boxes that you can subscribe to if you're interested in trying new things. And I think the values on both are really good. I mean, gosh, for $15, I probably got, what, $35 plus that Walmart one, whatever that is. I'll put the number up. Actually, it'll be probably right up here. No. It'll, it'll probably be right up here, how much it's worth. Um, so hopefully that helped you in case you're interested in looking at subscription boxes. And I have lots and lots of different subscription boxes I do reviews on. So just look at my videos listing if there are others that you are interested in looking at too. Um, because some of the ones, I'll tell you something, BoxyCharm, if you want makeup, you're usually getting $80 to $100 worth of makeup for a $21 box there. So you kind of have to look and see which one has the items you want and is in the price range that works for your budget. So anyhow, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are.